Hi guys, this is Himani and in today's video, we will be looking at how to create patterns in Python. So let's get started. I'll be running my code on a Jupyter notebook. I'll quickly create a new notebook on Jovian. Let's call it left half pyramid. And I'll quickly run it here. So while this loads, let's look at what we are trying to create. Today we'll be creating a left half pyramid like I mentioned before and this is what it looks like. So if you're having trouble getting your head around loops, patterns is a great way to get your head around loops in any programming language for that matter. So to print a star pattern, we will first begin by seeing how we can print a star and that you can simply do with the help of a print statement. Next, what we need to do or look into is how we can print the star a number of times. For that, we'll introduce a for loop. And let's also set a range because we want our for loop to only run a number of times. So for i in range 5, our for loop will start from 0 and run until 5 minus 1, that is 4. Let's print that out and see what result we get. So in this case, we are getting five asterisk signs printed in separate lines. So if I want to print all of this into a single line, I can simply add an end keyword here. And I think that will do the trick. So now we have a for loop that is printing star signs in the same line. So we'll repeat the entire pattern that we're looking at over here and print it a few times. So to do that, we will add another for loop here. Well, we didn't get all of these in a different lines. So that means after the second for loop, our code is not actually getting out. It's not shifting lines. So to prevent that, I think we can simply add another print statement here. And that is done. Now, this is something, this is something close to what we want for a pyramid, but it's still not a pyramid yet. Let's compare it to what we actually want. This is what we want. And what we have right now is that when i is zero, we have j loop running five times that is five stars and when i is one we have j running five times that is the very same thing and this goes on until the value of i becomes its highest value that is four if you compare it to the output that we want we want that our j loop should only run a certain number of times now that we know that our i variable is responsible for the row number and our j variable is responsible for the column number we can simply change the value of j for every time the i loop is run so to do that we'll simply change our code from 5 to and the reason that we did this here the reason that we that i said the for loop from 5 to i plus 1 is because if you see that for the very first row, that is for i equals to 0, row number 0, I want my j to run only once. That is only once higher than the amount of value that is stored in my i variable. And for i equals to 1, again, I want my j variable to run twice or one higher than the value that is stored in my i variable. Again, just like we saw before, this goes on until the maximum value of i is achieved and the maximum value of j is achieved. So that simply gives us a very basic pyramid code that we were seeking out. So I hope you liked this video and I hope I was able to make this logic clear to you. To understand more concepts on Python and understand other complex star patterns, follow us.